Are you afraid of heights? Even if you're just in a tall building and you know you're safe, you can still be afraid. This month, we've been talking about fear busters, <laughs> things like faith, trust, and knowing that God is always with us, things that help us overcome our fears. Well, today's fear buster is belief. We've heard about some amazing things that God has done, but I'd like to show you some pretty amazing things that a man did over 160 years ago. This man's name was Charles Blondin, and he walked a tightrope across Niagara Falls. In fact, he did it several times. He did it blindfolded and even pushed a wheelbarrow across the tightrope. His belief in his skill helped him overcome fear and do amazing things. Jesus traveled to Cana, the town where he had done his first miracle when he turned water into wine at a wedding. If it were me, I'd say turn that water into soda, <laughs> am I right? A royal official heard that Jesus was in Cana. The official's son was very sick, so he traveled several miles from Capernaum to Cana. The official pleaded with Jesus, Come and heal my son, he is about to die. Jesus said, Unless you see signs of wonders, you will not believe in me. The official did not give up. Sir, please come down before my boy dies. Go, your son will live, Jesus promised. The royal official believed Jesus and left. As the official traveled home, his servants met him with great news. His son was alive. The official asked, what time did he get better? His fever left yesterday at one in the afternoon, they replied. The official remembered that was the exact moment when Jesus had told him, your son will live. The official put his trust in Jesus and because of the official's faith, everyone in his household believed in Jesus too. Sometimes people say that seeing is believing. We've seen the pictures of Charles Blondin walking the tightrope over Niagara Falls, so we believe he did it. The officer in our story believed in Jesus so much that he headed back home without doubting that his son would live. That's a whole different kind of belief. It's kind of like this. A friend of Blondin believed in him so much that he let Blondin carry him piggyback across the tightrope. That's the kind of belief that we need to have in Jesus. If you truly believe in Jesus, he can use you to do amazing things too. So bust your fear with true belief and do some amazing things for God. <laughs>